All right. You all have your orders. Captain, we've just achieved standard orbit of Aroboros 2. All decks report ready to begin the operation. Acknowledge, Mr. Sulu. We'll begin at 1400 hours. I'm on my way. Let's go check off. Aye, sir. Another search for dilithium crystals. I'm just certain someone will invent an unlimited source of energy. Why do you say that? It would solve the reliance of Starfleet on rare dilithium crystals. But can someone really invent that? Sure, just think of all the problems that would be solved by limitless energy. Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course, just think, unlimited energy. Excuse me, ladies, I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, nurse, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of argumentum ad consequentium, also known as appeal to consequences. I thought she was making pretty good sense. That may seem so, Yeoman, but her argument is invalid. Appeal to consequences is an argument that concludes that a hypothesis, typically a belief, is either true or false based on whether the premise leads to desirable or undesirable consequences. This is based on an appeal to emotion and is a type of informal fallacy since the desirability of a premise's consequences does not make the premise true. The appeal to consequences fallacy does not apply to arguments that address a premise's consequential desirability, good or bad, right or wrong, instead of its truth value. Therefore, an argument asserting that one method is better than another because it is better at achieving the desired results or consequences may be valid if data is used to show the efficaciousness of the method. But this exception was not the case for your argument, Nurse Chapel, as you were clearly making an appeal to the happy outcome of unlimited energy. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Oh, I should reassess my thinking. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as argumentum ad consequentium or the appeal to consequences. It's only logical 